Hello everyone, welcome back. Pandas 2.0 is coming. I recently learned about this news from this website. It's by a guy named Mark Garcia. Sorry if I butchered your name. So he's one of the core developers. So right now the latest Pandas version is still 1.5.3 and a bump to version 2 means that there will be major changes. And one of the changes that I'm most excited about is the new Apache Arrow backend for Pandas data. The Apache backend was first added in Pandas version 1.4 as an experimental engine that didn't support all features. With the release of Pandas 2.0, I expect the Arrow backend is now more usable. So why is the Arrow backend important? In order to use Pandas to work with data, we first need to load the data into computer memory using methods such as pandas.readcsv or pandas.readexcel. And the default data type is based on NumPy, which is not bad, but still can be slow when your data gets big. On the contrary, Apache error data format is extremely fast. Although I'm not an expert on Apache error, you still have to take my word for it. It's very, very fast. About a year ago, I did a comparison between several popular Python data analysis libraries, including Pandas, Polars, Datatable, and Modin. The comparison found that Polars, which is built on top of Apache error format, pretty much beat all three libraries in all my tests by a big margin, and regardless of data size. As Pandas 2.0 is going to adopt Apache error, it means that Pandas will become extremely fast as well, hopefully, just like Polars. All right, that's enough of the intro and let's uh, see some code and comparison. Pandas 2.0 is still in development stage right now, so you cannot just get it using the usual way like pip install Pandas. And I think Pandas 2.0 is going to be released very soon. Maybe by the time you see this video, it's already released. But just in case it's still not, you can install Pandas 2.0 using this following pip install command, which is taken directly from their GitHub uh, repository. So if you go to Pandas GitHub and go down to this releases uh, section, now you can see the public version is still 1.5.3 right now. But if you click on this releases, this will take you to a page where you can find the information about Pandas 2.0. And all you need to do is just copy and paste this uh, command into your command prompt to upgrade your Pandas. But just note that this command will upgrade your current Pandas version. So if you still want to keep your current Pandas, make sure to create a virtual environment before you install Pandas 2.0 to test. I'm going to perform the same tests I did over half a year ago and compare Pandas 2.0 with the other four libraries, including Pandas version 1. I'm still using the same computer so we can have apples to apples comparison here. This is the code for the comparison and the only changes I've made was adding this line of code to specify that we want to use the arrow as backend and the two additional changes that I had to make was this two additional arguments inside the pandas.readcsv. And just to show you that in pandas 2.0, you can still use the old NumPy data format. So if you just import pandas and then read the CSV as you would always do. And now if you check the D types, the D types, and this will show you this is still a NumPy array data format. But if you want to use the error format, then you just need to include this line to specify the backend, as well as these two additional arguments. And then your new data frame will be in the Apache error data type. So the rest of this code is exactly the same as the previous one for the pandas tests. And here is the test result. As we can see that the pandas 2 did pretty well in reading CSV, combining data sets, and then also filtering data sets. However, in some instances, pandas version 2 can be slower than the current pandas version 1. For example, the merge function and this uh, filter function here, especially when the data gets really large, 
Uh, for some operations, Pandas 2.0 will perform even slower than Pandas version 1. For some reasons, I could not do a group by and sum operation. It will always throw out an error message at me. A major release like this, I kind of understand that not everything will be perfect on release. And I really appreciate the hard work that Pandas core developers put into maintaining and upgrading this super awesome and free software. Overall, I like the direction Pandas 2.0 is going, and I look forward to using the error data type for all my future work. That is all for today. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.